Hello, Andy. This is Colin. I want to be able to get in tonight. I'm sweating like a pig. I'm sweating like a pig. Hi, Dave here. What up, gaming? I have a quick review of No Longer Home. And this is a weird semi autobiographical game. I guess that just means that they had some conversations and they added it into the game. It's a kind of like a point and click adventure, kind of like a puzzle game. It basically has two main stars and you talk to each other, solve puzzles, try and do things. I believe it started out as a mobile game and it's now on like PC and consoles and stuff. Change the view around, look at objects, get more information about objects, touch the cat, touch the cat, touch the It is quite cool with when you it, you click on certain things and then the background sort of like melt away and change perspectives and everything and it, it's quite cool. It's just going on about how you know people are bad at saying goodbye, they're bad at looking into the future, they're bad at organising things, they're bad at just doing things and yeah it's just a pleasant little game. Uh, me, myself, I found it a little bit too boring through the game and I kind of just stopped playing um, but yeah it's I can understand where if you're at that right time of your life and everything no longer home is a sweet nice story nice art style nice graphics and yeah it's a nice game